Hey guys, uh, welcome to Instagram Live. Uh, we are doing the lowdown tonight with Richard, um, who was also one of our amazing finalists. Let me just see if I can switch back to the audio here. There we go. Um, I thought I was clever with my uh, earbuds there for a moment, but um, all I heard was uh, Britney Spears playing in the background. So uh, there you are, Richard. Let's see if we can get him to join quick. And um, yeah. But I got to see our Mr. World South Africa, uh, Sean. So um, yeah, that was awesome. There we go. Adding Richard. Hey, yes, Steve. What's up, Stephanie? He says, Steve. And we lost him. Wait. We're going to get him back just now. How's it, Clayton? Glad to see you joining again. Let's see. How come for you? Where is it up? Hi Marcus, I go with Hongkut. Um, so funny story is. Oh, thank you, Noah. Ek hoor vir jou. Ek sien jou net nie. Is dit so waar? Waar? Woe? Ek weet nie wat gaan aan. Where must I? Wat? Wat moet ek maak? Ek is nie nie. Um, maar ek ga dit nou uitfigur. Maar ek is nie blij jy is hier so derm. Uh, ek wil graag vir vrou Shoni, jy is nou online, of jy dat ook vir ons kan sê, of jy vir hierdie kan sien, want dan weet ek, of het ek is wat iets verkeerd doen, en of jylle daar met video kan sien, um, want dan kan ons dit uitsorteer. Hoor <laughs> 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 die terwijl ek jou graag op audio weet, sê vir my, hoe gaan het over jou? Het gaan baie goed, baie bezig, is wintertijd yes. um, in Zuid-Afrika, so ons is bezig met ons uh, annual soup drive campaign. Oh wow. At Radio NFN, so yes, we built it with that, my darling. Okay, awesome. And uh, listen, uh, tell me um, about that, a little bit more info, as mense wil betrokken raak, ek weet jy sit nou al die pad in a makwaland, maar what can we do from our side? Ooh, you ask me now questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did I come in with the big guns first? So the it's an annual campaign. We started off four years ago, which yeah. um, basically everyone can contribute, whether it's blankets or soup products or whatever they'd like to contribute. Um, yeah. Then we go to the different communities in Amakaland and then we distribute to the people that need it more. You see, so that is what we do each and every year. And the people of the Makalada are very um, forthcoming with giving stuff. So I'm so glad about that. That's amazing. Is one of the annual campaigns that we are really, really passionate about. Yeah. And uh, Richard, tell me, uh, did you grow up in Amakwalan? Take us back a little bit uh, to Richard no! before he was awesome and fabulous and sporting all right for the <laughs> interweb. Who was Richard before? Where did he come from and grew up and all that? Okay, Richard was a seven-month-old baby. I was born in seven months, oh, wow. and I was born in Staniton, Pumalanga. So I didn't no. grow up in Amakulad at all. I'm actually it's from Pumalanga. Amazing. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then um, my father is from my king, and he worked yeah. in Staniton. And my mother met him at Staniton because she went to stay oh, with wow. her sister there. And that is the whole, yeah. and that is, they met there, got married. We stayed there for a long time. And my father passed away in 2001, and his yeah. wish was always if he should pass, then my mother should come to her family, and her family yeah. is actually from Namakaland. So sure. this is how I found myself in Namakaland. Listen, but it's beautiful how life, even through um, a traumatic event like that, uh, places you exactly where you need to be. And I always go and read up on your quotes because you publish so many beautiful ones on Facebook. So you guys need to check that out. It's like daily inspiration. <laughs> but like, tell me, where do you get your inspiration from? Because you're just this fountain of wisdom and joy always. Where does that inspiration come for you? You know what? It's not always easy. I mean, yeah. 
going through the journey. Me and a colleague, we spoke about this today, and I said we don't know each other's stories actually mm-hmm. because um, we need to sit down and talk to people, especially your colleagues or your friends, so that they can have a deeper understanding of where you come from and everything. Yeah. So with me losing my father, I didn't have a choice but to be. Uh, a growing up so that I could support mm-hmm. my mother. So she needed all the support. So the teenage years wasn't there for me. I needed to be a yeah. growing up and I needed to support my mother. And um, I guess it, it, when life knocks you down, you stand up again. Mm. Because that is what my father yes. always said. The most important thing is to stand up if you get knocked yes. down. And I guess so for Pierre, I'll flat slant my... I get up again. So I really don't know actually. I'm just a positive person. Yeah. And you shine that and it exudes. I remember telling you backstage when we were rehearsing I was like if I reincarnate ever then I want to come back as a piece of <laughs> Larry because I'm like <laughs> you've got some energy or vibe about you that I just wish everyone can see you in person every day. And I oh. tell me you Thank you. We recently got to see a little bit more of that personality um as you showcased your uh, skills and talents in the music world. Um vertel ons bietjie van daai TV episodes. Um jy het ons daar sê my graag wat die show se naam en wat het jy daar gemaak? It's on SABC2 and it is Musique Roulette with the famous mm-hmm. beautiful Nadine. Oh, it's such a pleasure to work with Nadine, but I didn't want to enter because people think because you're from a radio station that you will know all the music and all the music. I hear it. It's not like that. Fan la frave yo goed dat ek is in all my word. No, I don't know that. Uh my two for the cards to say for myself you will come all the to that. So what stop me just enter and see where it goes and it is of 12 episodes that's all. Yeah. That is amazing and I'm so proud of you because I I also feel as much, much as it is about the competition and it's fun and it's vibey and it's music um it's also a chance for people to see that personality of your shine yeah. that's the purest you that's who you are wherever you are of on snow in a busy set whether there's one person whether there's 10 people or a camera crew you just have that thing about you and I appreciate that about you so so yeah. much And um, thank you my darling. Yeah, and that you stay true to it. Um every episode you can see that's my boy. That's my boy and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the people are like, oh, who's presenting this show? They like, do you know you rich and I'm like it's my time to shine and see me. So I was shy. You're hosting Nadine on that show, but we won't tell her. <laughs> Ma, um, let's move on quickly to your fashion sense cuz I die for your shoes. I die for your outfits. I can never pull them off. And Lord knows I was super jealous um that night when we had the finals and you had that amazing amen throw wrapped around you walking like something out of Game of Thrones and oh. I was so jealous. But where does your fashion inspiration come from? Cuz you're always turning an outfit. I actually don't know. to be honest with you I was on on uh, a a makeup show called Vrak Me Moi as well on Via and then um Tia the stylist he asked me what is my fashion sense and I said to him yeah. I actually can't explain it because I just I go to a shop and I browse and I put on something yeah. and if I like it I keep it and then <laughs> I just said what can I accessorize it with and then I move from there you see That's so the key, I, accessorize. I love color I love color <laughs> oh that's amazing. And um Richard a bit more on the uh, serious side of things quickly. If I can really drag you um into the deeper end of the conversation mm. um from fashion and from having this beautiful personality and everything how do you incorporate a message of inclusivity in your town or what rather is the message that you would like to um give to the people from Namakwa especially the youngsters in the Makoland um i think it's very important that we start and teach them that um there's all different all different types of of gay people yeah um and at the moment i think they're stuck because they feel like um 
you need to put on a dress you need to put on a wig and yeah. and and makeup and stuff like that and that's why i was so excited for for um shanae and betty to come to namaka yes. so that we can teach the youngsters of drag culture as well yeah. because there's a huge difference between being drag and being transgender but with covid Absolutely. and everything it's it's found now so um but slowly but surely they they starting to understand that there are different types of 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 people in the lgbtqi yeah. plus community Definitely. and um i need to give a shout out to 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 um uh what is okay i know her charlotte miss fears because she yes. is now on a transgender she's on her transgender journey she started with a transformation in her hormones yeah. and everything and she's from namakula and she's oh, such wow. a huge inspiration so people need to check yeah. out miss fears as well um yes. cuz she is now paving the way and in my up and coming podcast with point view fm yes. um she shares a story with the youngsters of south mm-hmm. africa as well on where did it start for her and how did she accept herself yeah. um because she said she always knew that inside she was a girl it was just yeah. time for her to go to the next step and do it yeah so yeah and i think but that's I think what you say it starts with that process of education and showcasing that there are so many different representatives within this larger mm-hmm. community that somewhere you're going to find someone who relates to you and i think that's beautiful exactly. exactly and all that i think that is important especially um for 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 young people coming from the countryside like namakoland mm-hmm. and and small towns is we need to educate them more because yeah. we focus mostly on 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 big cities and stuff and yeah. some of these kids have never even been to a city so yeah. we need to we you understand we need to broaden their mind as well and say but there is a bigger world out there and yeah. not just namakwa do you understand and especially yeah. in the lgbtqi plus community because there are a lot but they are afraid because our yeah. people this side are still very close minded when it yeah. comes to 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 gay people you yeah. know no it is and um it's what you say is it's exposure it's visibility and it's education and those things combined helps us to move forward as a generation so the only thing i heard there is that we are getting on a bus and we are doing priscilla rafdier naisna namakolan alipat oxberg vorbei yeah yeah i'll keep my outfits ready and i'll come with shanae and betty when they come down oh, the show it's going to be so awesome Yeah, that's amazing. And uh, tell me in in terms of your um, Mr. Gay World South Africa journey, uh what is one thing that you would like to take forward coming from the pageant now? Um what is a message or a um life lesson that you can take with you uh on this journey forward? That everyone can do it. Everyone can do it. I I I I I went into this competition and I said to myself you don't fit in when i when i got there on tuesday i can look at this butch guy and handsome yeah you come you 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 this girl and it's like no i say to myself you don't belong here and then i went to my yeah. room and i gathered myself and i said i gave myself a pep talk and i say you belong here this yes. is the competition yes, yes, you see yes. yourself as a gay man you're more feminine and you're in touch with your feminine side and there's nothing wrong with Absolutely. and from there on i just decided you know what um uh, it is for everyone and the brotherhood is so strong between the mr gay contestants as well as the mr world south africa contestants yeah. um there was a brotherhood there was no nasty stuff and mm. and and that is what made it so beautiful because we united literally with a purpose the two yeah. pageants that came together as one well. definitely and I'll just add a small little tale onto that um is when things really turned for me was when we were doing the fitness challenges 
and um, everyone knows I can't <laughs> run the shot. I only run away from my problems and you're like a national Olympic sprinter. And I just loved the way you encouraged me um, when I was like losing my breath and almost catching my lungs out, hoping open offices a flipping impala. And um, oh. the same way when you were doing the push-ups, just to hear all the guys cheer and uh, like motivating one another it gave us such a sense of belonging and that really yeah. was a turning point for me to show what this competition is about so that um whoever is watching and considers to enter that they know they don't just enter to be on a stage they enter to be a larger voice within their community and that there's place exactly. for yeah. everyone in this community and i love 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 what you say you belong i feel i want to take loki's portrait off your my dalmatian and just put a you belong <laughs> it's such a beautiful uh, um, you know the biggest challenge was i was horrified for that but it was so much fun i literally no. enjoyed it from start to finish even the push ups like Ugh, i can't do a push up mainly <laughs> you like, did it so well it was the worst and then face said to me don't worry i'll give you two and he put he put his two fists together like just try for one second you need man to you know what you're doing to that <laughs> oh my word <laughs> but i did it that was fabulous uh, i really yeah. enjoyed it from start to finish yeah absolutely um tell me uh, almost wrapping up but just before we go what is one message that you would like to give to people who are maybe watching or might watch this video later um for days when they are really down in the dumps because you're such a vibe i want to know what is your uh, go to um on those days i'd like to start off with feel your feelings If you want to be depressed that day then feel depressed and cry your eyes out because one must go yes. through every single emotion in your life yes. and then after you cried you pick yourself up um and you move on because it's important to feel your feelings cropping yes. it up is going to make you sick at the end of the day so just let it out and let it, let go. it go when you're done with it let it go yes. let it out let it go and and move on to your next journey because yeah. that is what life is about life needs to be lived and you need to take it with both hands yeah. you we, we we all are not guaranteed tomorrow so i mean mm. we can die tonight and then you need to ask yourself did i actually do something yes. that i wanted to do with my life yeah. um for the day that is yes. your most important question every single day when you close your eyes and you go to bed you ask yourself that i do something impactful for my life today to change the world but to change everything around myself for a better place i enter the competition with always love never hate never discriminate and i stick with that few things yes sir. you're taking me to church man you come i love i hope Nam <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Mark Moy. Um I'm so proud of you and um I'm so proud of your journey. I'm proud to know you and uh yeah, danki net um for the manier waarop jy mense om jou vlerke gee en just oh, always ek weet ek weet dit het nou niks meer die interview te maak nie en Andrew kom my nou maar na die tyd skiet maar um <laughs> just from my side personally just know that um I feel so honored to know you and I'm so proud that um you came and represented the you that Thank you are and not the idea that the community wants you to be or the gay people wants to put in a little box but that you were absolutely 110% you and uh that inspires me and that touches me oh, so uh, thank you thank you love yeah thank you so much my walk and means you any and crave if they want to follow your journey not just you on instagram tell us about your podcast all the vibes where can we go and stalk you okay lovely so um i said three goals in the beginning of the year and the goals were um Mystic roulette which I'm still busy with 
and yes. my podcast. I got the opportunity. Thank you so very much. I'd like to send a shout out to Herat as well. Um, Herat Mostert gave me the opportunity yes. at Point View FM. The podcast is called La Riri Bank Shaba. It's an LGBTQI plus focused podcast. And we literally talk about everything on that podcast. Literally. Um, so it's going to no, be so no. good. My artists are different artists, which I interview different people, different backgrounds. So people must yeah. definitely um, um, tune in for that and then right. the Mr. Gay World South Africa was one of that goals and yeah. it was um, like for the third time I actually was postponed and I was like in oh, dear society you make because <laughs> I, I, I was like in uh, uh, no first time I can leave it then I saw it was postponed it's like in uh, I can leave it and then the third time I was like in uh, uh, dear society exactly. you need to do this um, <laughs> and I actually did it so um I'm super proud of, of the whole competition, which I did. So yeah, the goals I've set for myself this year were that three big goals. But now other things has come in. Recently, I've auditioned yeah. for two shows again. What you're saying is we are not done with you yet. They better keep their no. eyes peeled. No. Really no no. <laughs> exactly. Um, so yes, yeah, so I auditioned for two shows and then um, yeah, that's it. And basically I'm at Mr. Larry. It's M R L A R W E R W E. Awesome. That's basically me. <laughs> Great stuff. We'll make sure that um, I tag that in the story. We'll also be saving this video um, on the Mr. Gay World South Africa reel. If you guys want to share it with your friends, please take a like a screenshot or go take the pretty pictures on our profiles and share that wide and far. And uh, Richard, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your energy. And babe, just keep on shining. I love you. And that's your lack of it's such a great pleasure. And thank you for the opportunity. Thank you to the Mr. Gay World South Africa organization and team and everyone. You guys are awesome. I love you. Lo. Thank you. I always do the interviewing yes. staff. So they they are my interview. Yeah, finally my chair. I got to do this. <laughs> so thank you so very much. And then Mr. Eden, I wore my earrings for you, darling. Yes. I see. I, see. I appreciate it so much. Take care, my love. Bye-bye.